we have Saints and the Giants of whew, one of the most explosive games we have seen this entire season. It was um, the third highest scoring game yeah. in the NFL. Let's say in the season, talk about ever. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Holy shit, was that good? So I'm I'm sitting down, I'm watching this game, and uh, I was kind of doing some stuff for for school right at the beginning, and uh, the first touchdown happens, and then the the second touchdown, the third touchdown. I'm like, hold the fuck up, I gotta do this later. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in the first half. <laughs> yeah, I mean the Giants are scoring, the Saints are scoring, and I'm like. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. I'm like, what is happening? And it ended up being 13 touchdowns, right? Yeah. Or, or, or 14. I think Breeze threw. Breeze actually threw eight touchdowns. He threw a good six. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Uh, outside of that one little. Which was kind of a fumble. There's been some argument over whether that was kind of a fumble or an exception. And we'll see where that ends up standing. But uh, other than that one little, you know, pass, it was a, a damn near perfect game from Drew Brees. And you know what? Eli had a damn good game, too, and I feel a little bad for him because no one cares. He's been through six touchdowns, but because his team lost, no yeah. one cares. And you know what's even worse yeah. is that he got beat his home turf, you know? He's, he's yeah. a New Orleans boy. He, he had to sit there and... When you throw six touchdowns in New Orleans when you're from New Orleans and you still lose, yeah. like, I don't know how to feel about that. You know what? He gave the fans, like, it was an all-New Orleans show. Yeah, it did. I mean, yeah, it really was. And then he was throwing to Odell Beckham Jr., who grew up in New Orleans, too. Uh-huh. So, I mean, it was really Louisiana all over the place. <laughs> and, uh... So, man, you got to get, like, Matt Flynn and, like, Eddie Lacy in there. You got, like, Louisiana boys everywhere all over yeah. the place. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it was it was a good game, obviously a great game, and it's kind of funny because and we talked about it some. Breeze, I don't think Breeze is injured anymore. I think that's safe to say that he's back. Yeah, you know, he he clearly had an injury bothering him. So we were talking about you know is he done? What's going on? How much is this getting to him? Is it age? And it looks like it was the injury more than age. Oh, definitely. Uh, um, really. Seven touchdowns. That's my answer to the, anyone who says that he's washed up. You know, <laughs> uh, it, it kind of reminded me of the whole Brady thing last year, talking about him being done. You know, yeah. It, it just shows you you can't get too premature with this stuff. You really can't. You just gotta wait and see how it plays out because you never. And, and players have slumps and stuff, and you know, obviously this is probably gonna be a one-off. I seriously doubt he's gonna post seven touchdowns. Maybe never again. Most likely not. You know You're I mean? right. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. But uh, it just kind of showed the Saints' offense is back. Now, there's a lot to be said for the defense on both sides, but these offenses just got to a rhythm, and you just could tell it was going to be a shootout. Right. The Saints' defense performed well at certain points. You know, they're getting up 14 points, and then they would cave. And I think there were some good things to look at in the defense. Obviously, it needs to work if you give up that many points. But uh, if the offense can put up that many points, I mean, that might be good enough for to get into the playoffs at least. I don't think you're going to win a Super Bowl without a defense. But uh, all of a sudden, the NFC South doesn't look like it's the Falcons and the Panthers anymore. You know, I'm glad you said that because I was thinking about this just the other day yeah. and this doesn't sound unrealistic but just think about how this could potentially play out now i still think carolina's going to win the division because they're still undefeated they just have a giant you know there's like a there's like a three game lead still yeah so that's and fun. that's pretty big considering what's going on lately i mean it's they might not win the division but it's still a pretty good lead going on but Keep this in consideration. Now, let's say, hypothetically, Giants win the division. I mean, I know they've just lost, but they're in the running, too. Actually, I think as of right now, they're winning the division. I think they're top as of right now. I think they are. Maybe tied with the Eagles. I'm like, right. Well, any either way, I feel like Giants are winning the division in the East. 
the Saints have already beaten the Cowboys. Right. So that's going to definitely eliminate them from any type of wild card spot. Now, if the Vikings can beat out the Seahawks into winning the other wild card, we could potentially see Vikings and the Saints getting the two wild card spots over the Cowboys and the Seahawks this year. You know, uh, we had it a couple years ago when the Cardinals got screwed out of the playoffs when they would have made it in the AFC. Yeah. And I think we're going to see the same thing happening in this year with an NFC team getting screwed and a sorry AFC team making it. It probably shouldn't really be in the playoffs with a bad record or whatever. Yeah. Probably in the AFC South. (laughs) Well... Well, yeah, the, the winner, but uh, even the wild card, like the AFC doesn't look that strong as a whole, really hard wild card contenders, at least in my opinion. None of them impressed that much and versus the contenders in the NFC. And uh, you're going to have, there was a little bit of a conversation talking about maybe some realignment. And if stuff like this keeps happening, the NFL is going to be forced to at least talk about it. I mean, they didn't even discuss it. Yeah. And if you keep seeing NFC teams with better records getting left out of the playoffs versus AFC teams, there's going to have to be some kind of discussion about this. I don't know if they're going to have to change the way the playoff system works or, or what. I mean, I feel like it works right most of the time the way it should. But, I mean, and I guess the argument would be all of a sudden there's three teams from the NFC South that look like they could potentially make the playoffs. And that's a quick turnaround from last year. But it's definitely an interesting little kind of developing story, I think, where you're seeing this again with teams with good records getting left out because they're in the wrong conference. And I think that those teams feel like it's bullshit and uh, with good reason, really, because it's nothing but a lineup. Like, isn't the playoffs supposed to be the best the best team? Yeah. The to be the best Their team? only reason why I don't think they would ever consider it is because look at pretty much every other major sport. It just You might have a better record than such and such, but that doesn't mean you're going to make the playoffs regardless. I mean, baseball's notorious. So like, look how many baseball teams have winning records, but they're in the wrong division and they don't make it. Or in the NHL, uh, you had, I think they have like 36 teams, and out of those 36 teams, half of them make the playoffs, win or lose record regardless. So, I mean... I think the difference between those leagues and the NFL is they have a way longer season with way more games. They had a pretty good chance to, to do what they needed to do and still didn't versus one game a week in NFL where it's straight up just luck of the draw here. True. That is uh, true. Versus series and stuff, so... Do I really think it will happen? Probably not, but I mean, and I and I really hope they don't screw with the division as far as like they need to leave it with four and four, obviously. Yeah. And I don't know how they would do that or fix that or whatever, but I mean, it wasn't that long ago the Seahawks were playing in the AFC, and I mean, th- there's been some weird realignments in the past, so it's not out of the question. And because uh, you realistically. It is crazy, though. Think about that. The NFC South was a joke last year. And depending on how the season plays out, there could potentially be three NFC South teams in the playoffs. Yeah, that's is true. Is it likely? No, I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. It's very possible. Yeah. That's about all I have to say, I guess. Who that? This thing. We're back. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like we're getting into a, a late call segment with these with this conversation bit. a little bit. But it is definitely something very interesting to think about. And, I, and you know what? I would love to hear from other people um, what they think about the whole topic because it, it's right. good. And, and, you know, I think um, quickly uh, before we kind of send this off is that you and I – discuss that in the 2011 season opener it was saints and packers both just won a super bowl the years prior right. and uh we consider that to be the clash of the titans it was one of the best nfl games we've ever watched it's the best season opener uh, in recent memory it, it definitely is still the best season opener in recent memory but this game with giants and the saints i think that beat clash of the titans yeah. I, I think it really I think did so. 
if you love offensive football, you love this game. Right. If you love defensive football, you probably turn the TV on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any any former P- defensive players and defensive coordinators and such, you probably didn't enjoy this game too much. <laughs> that's that's a very good point. But it, it made for some damn good TV. So. Yeah. So with that, uh, again, you know, love to hear from you on what you think about the game, what you think about the whole playoff subject, because that was kind of an off-topic tangent, but, you know, still really good to talk about. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and the links are in the description below. Make sure to watch our late call on our mid-season assessment, because it will be something worthwhile. And uh, you know what? Good to see what the Saints are going to do next, because they're definitely on a roll lately. Hey, and you know Breeze didn't even get the game ball. They gave it to the kicker. I know. I did <laughs> see that. Yeah. Well, That's I mean, funny. he won the game at the very end. He did. But damn, how many touchdowns you got to throw to get a game ball? Right? 